Hello everyone, welcome, hope you have a wonderful day this far. As you can hear, I'm not Prime. They call me Fizzy, I'm gonna help Prime out for a few days. Uh, so don't fear, he will be back soon enough. You just want to get out there, I'm not, not a professional, nothing like that. I'm just trying my best, and I hope you will enjoy. Today we will go over to God, Harder, or Hod, depending on how you want to pronounce it. He is the god of darkness in the winter, twin brother of Baldur, usually seen to carry a bow, and he's blind. And Baldur, he's associated with light, joy, purity, and summer sun, for those who don't know. But their father Odin was concerned about Baldur, who kept suffering from terrible nightmares. So Odin traveled to Niflheim, to the land of the dead where he tried to resurrect a wise woman and ask her for advice. She told him that Hodder would eventually slay Balder. So Odin went back to Asgard in frustration, disappointed in the answers he got. Odin spoke with Balder's mother, Frigga, who decided to have all the creatures on Earth swear an oath not to harm Balder. This way, Hodder could use no weapon against his brother. Unfortunately, Freya missed her chance to speak with the mistletoe bush. Tricked by Loki, Harder created an arrow from the mistletoe branch, which pierced Baldur's body, killing him instantaneously. In some stories, it's not an arrow, but a spear. Leave a comment of what you think the correct weapon is. The death of Baldur. Herder's hand signified the darkness ruling over the light. As the nights grew longer, colder, the sun faded away each year. Despite being tricked by Loki, Harder was the one responsible for the death of his brother. And there was a great rule that deaths like Baldur's must be avenged. Odin tricked the giantess into conceiving a child for him. This child grew rapidly, reaching adulthood in just one day, to become the god of Valley. Lucky giantess, if you ask me, not having to deal with raising a child. Valley then journeyed to Midgard and killed Hodder with an arrow, mirroring the death of his brother. In Norse mythology, Baldur's death is one of the signs that the Ragnarok, the end of the world, is coming. 